All right, welcome back to Diddly Squat Gaming. Today we are going to be taking care of, hopefully, getting gas to the uh, to the drown truck. We uh, basically last episode had uh, gotten all the uh, repair that needed to be done. We brought the uh, service trailer to it, but unfortunately, we didn't have enough gas. I basically had forgotten that the service trailer didn't have gas in it and by the time we got there with the dairy the I, I basically didn't have enough gas to say to say it the simple way so we're gonna have to bring this as off with the service trailer slash uh, fuel tanker we're gonna go fuel up both trucks and uh, yeah we're gonna finish the drowned truck and then move on to the uh, the next task so and if there's any I, I've traveled this route a lot so really it's just this light lost light trailer <clears throat> and fallen bricks those are our last two tasks on this map so yeah we will be uh, possibly going to the next map which will be uh looks like it probably be the quarry although yes the quarry to the gateways there 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 and there's three of them yes it will be the quarry because that's the only tunnel uh to it so or gateway i should say anyways Let's get this going. Um, I don't know. I, I, I feel off a little bit right now. <laughs> Hopefully that will I'll smooth things out. <laughs> uh, I feel like I'm uh, stumbling and thinking too much while I'm trying to speak. So we're, uh, we're just going to keep going. Uh, for a split second there, I thought about starting the recording over again. But you know what? Let's just do it. It's fine. I don't have to like the video as long as you guys do. So... Uh, again, I want to thank you for uh, your support and and all my uh, 200 and I believe 19 subscribers right now at the time of filming. Uh, hopefully by the time this releases, I'll have even more than that. But, uh, oh, nice. We are uh, taking a little bit of damage. This truck is a lot faster than the uh, 6 Series Azov. But, uh... Yeah, it's, uh, you know, you trade off uh, speed with, with random damage events, so. And this is our tanker. Uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to worry about it. We have enough fuel on here. And besides, once we, once we get the, uh, the other truck fueled up, we can, uh, we can probably return this back to our warehouse or a garage. I don't know why I keep calling it a, a warehouse. Let's slap that into high gear. I think we're going to cut right through here. A, actually, doesn't. I mean, yeah, we'll cut through. It probably isn't much faster or technically the same <laughs> speed as going around on the uh, the harder paved or it's not really paved it's just a hard packed dirt road so <clears throat> but yeah I, I've I've been trying to figure out why my videos are I don't want to say underperforming, but they're they're not getting the numbers that I was getting in Michigan, and I think I may have figured it out because uh, in Michigan I in the title would put the individual map that I was on, and I think that's a mistake I'm making here because while this is is Tamar Russia, uh, let me actually just bring it up real quick. Uh, it is technically Russia, but the game doesn't call it Russia. It calls it Tamar. 
And then the actual map footages are the Drowned Lands. So this is the actual map name. Um, so I think that's what I need to do. I kind of uh, screwed up a little bit. And I, I think I might put the full name in the, the description. Or in the... Uh, in the, uh, da -da. yeah, the description, sorry, not in the title. Uh, so I'll throw it in the description and then I'll just put the Drown Lands in the, uh, in the, uh, title and then hopefully that should maybe help. <laughs> it seems like the smallest thing ever, but, uh, if somebody's looking for a map in the Drown Lands, then that will help out. Uh, tremendously because I was I was looking back at my old footages of uh, doing like Smithville Dam and and uh, Black River and whatnot and yeah I was getting a, a lot more views on those videos and that's the only thing I think it could have been um, that or people were just more interested in SnowRunner maybe there was a fluctuation because of a could, it could have been the release or the uh, the forward release of expeditions, but um, yeah, I don't know. There might have been a surgeon. Who knows? Here, but we're gonna give it a try and see what happens. Uh, because unfortunately, if your channel's not growing, then it's dying, or at least that's what they consider in business, right? Especially retail. If your if your numbers aren't up, then you're doing something wrong. Uh, there we go. <laughs> I was about to say that, that rock uh, did not want to come out from underneath us, so. And... Yeah, I must have I must have just cut through there last time. Where I literally just had to round this tree and then... Oh. Just absolutely annihilate that pine tree. Uh, but, yeah, so... <laughs> I, I did a shortcut when I really didn't need to. Alright, so there is our trucks. And I'm hoping we can just bury this in the mud. Yeah, maybe we'll be able to get through. Nope. Let's go low plus and see. There we go. Push comes to shove, I can refuel the as off. And then I can refuel the, uh, the Voron. Voron. I still am not 100% sure how to pronounce that. <laughs> the AE 43080. That's, that's a mouthful too. So let's go ahead and refuel. Uh, it looks like we can fill that up. So that should take care of that mission. If I didn't do it backwards. Uh, so let's fill up. that one there we go boom so there's thirty one hundred dollars that's not too bad of a paycheck and then let's fill up the dairy and we're gonna stop this engine uh because i think that the the dairy here i really don't want to pull the trailer uh hmm I don't want to pull the trailer. There is a fuel station, a factory, a truck. I do have a truck sitting here. That could be the one we go after the fallen bricks and then the lost light trailer. Either way, we're going to have to get both this truck. We're going to have to get this trailer out. Um. So yeah, let's let's try to get it out now. I may even do I may even try to do this. If I can use this truck to attach the winch and then winch both the trailer and the truck out, I think that will that will make the most sense. At least in my mind. Uh, so let's attach. Whoops. I love when it does that. It's my fault when it does that. Um, 
Yeah, so unfortunately I'm not going to be able to control the truck pulling the trailer like this, so uh, let me change trucks real quick. Let's fire this truck up. Can we do it backwards? This is going to seem really weird. But if I then attach this to that truck. Yes, I, I can do it that way, which is the weird. Let's turn that engine on. And let's, first of all, let's throw, let's actually throw our differential on too. And yeah, it's not really helping that way. All right, let's detach the trailer. We'll uh, stop the engine, change trucks. And now I can't even get this truck out. <laughs> I have buried myself in the mud, guys. Uh, where is a good tree? Give me a decent tree. There we go. Now let's grab trailer. Let's just yank that straight back. Once we get back to the road, it shouldn't be... We shouldn't have an issue at all. And we're just gonna... Ooh, I'm not gonna make that turn. We're just going to tuck it back here. Come on. Alright. Uh, we got to go back to there. Okay, let's try to get the... Uh, let's get the dairy unstuck. There we go. Yeah, there's, there's, there's no way we were going to be able to go forward here, so. Alright, looks like we're in the clear now. I, uh... Yeah, I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna hold off on actually driving this trailer back right now. But we will not leave it out here in the wild. Uh, I still have I still have a lot of trailers to uh, clean up, so <laughs> and I just keep going on to the next map. Uh, so it's not Yeah, it's not gonna fix itself. So one day. One day. I think we'll uh, we'll get the job done. I might even put a a, a poll out there or something saying if anyone wants to help me retrieve trailers and possibly. Um, I did leave this truck running. I'm glad I checked on it. <clears throat> Although honestly, it could have ran out of gas because it's it's got another 300 gallons easy. Alright, so let's uh, let's stop that engine. Let's uh, change trucks. Let's make sure that one stopped, which I did not turn off. And let's jump over to the 6 series as off. And yeah, let's mark out where, where do we need to go? First of all, I guess we could cut through here. Possibly go to a gas station or fuel station. Uh, which way do I need to go? I need to go left, right? Yeah. But yeah, we'll uh, we'll probably fill up at the gas station. 
it only kind of makes sense. Sort of. <laughs> it sort of makes sense, right? I mean, we only have to go out of our way for, I don't know, 100 meters, if that. Just right at the top of the hill. It shouldn't be an issue. Except for that. That's a nasty little. That's a nasty little ditch right there. <clears throat> and yes, I said ditch with a D. All right. There goes another one of those exploding signs. <laughs> those are always fun to watch. Ah, uh, yeah. So if you guys like this uh, series so far, give me a thumbs up. And let me know in the comments what you guys like what you don't like and uh, if you haven't subscribed please feel free to subscribe I won't uh, I won't mind if I get more subscribers so it always helps out the channel and if you actually like the series go back and watch from day one uh, you'll actually be quite surprised because that was my my first big let's play so uh, I, I'm probably going to sound really, very different. I had uh, a learning curve with the microphone and settings and that type of thing. And then then I had a whole hard drive issue about 30 episodes in. That was, uh, that was fun to solve. And unfortunately, some of the videos got uh, ruined. Uh, you'll actually be watching them and they'll, they'll just stop playing. Uh, even though it will say it's an hour long, they'll just stop as if it freezes, um, feel free to skip to the next video. Uh, I think there's only a couple of them. Unfortunately, by the time I realized what was going on, they were already all posted. Uh, and it wasn't, it was the community that told me what I was doing wrong or that something was going wrong. So, um, but luckily I was able to figure out what happened and, uh, got that fixed right away. And since then, I've gotten the microphone settings dialed in better. I don't know if they're perfect, but they're, I think they're good. And uh, yeah, the video looks amazing now. And yeah, you can just kind of, you, you, get, you get to watch my learning process of, of going through and, and starting off my YouTube career, so. And there's a hundred and there's a hundred and fifteen plus episodes now, so uh, that number is probably only going to go up from here and continue to go up because we've got we've got a lot of content to cover with this game. All right, so we got this back road here that. Um, you know what? It's not too bad right now. It's 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 very lightly traveled. We've got some rocks to deal with now, so that's not too bad. We've got something in the distance that looks like two eyes. Nope, looks like a building of some sort. Probably where we're heading. And yeah, I haven't really seen a seen any eyes or wildlife in this game uh, since since really Michigan although there's there's what bats <laughs> funny that I just mentioned that I don't know if they're supposed to be bats or what can't really get a good shot of it they look like bats but they look way too big to be bats so I don't know what those things are maybe they're mini dragons that's kind of what they look like I'm not gonna lie I got uh, Games of Thrones on my head, in my head, because I watched a uh, I watched a little demo of a city building game that's coming out, uh, and I think it was like Metatropolis or something like that. Uh, I don't remember the name of it. It was, it was hard to pronounce. Uh, but anyways, it uh, it reminded me of what a Game of Thrones spinoff intro would be. Uh, where it was kind of the the whole building aspect of it was all done in kind of like a clay 
I don't know. It was it was pretty cool. It was interesting. So I uh, I might look into that game. Uh, so let's go ahead and accept fallen bricks. Now we can actually start tracking it. And wow. Uh, <laughs> okay. Well, you know what? We brought the right truck today. Uh, so let's just go ahead and complete this. I always forget what that symbol means. And it drives me nuts because I forget what it means. Cargo unload. Oh, this is where I'm on. Okay. That's where I'm supposed to unload the cargo. Oh my. Okay. I don't know why I just had a brain fart like that, but I was remembering that symbol around that fuel station. Uh, but we didn't have a fuel... We didn't have a fuel drop-off uh, mission yet, so maybe it's uh, maybe it's coming up. But anyways, let's go into crane mode. This should be really simple. We just gotta fish these uh, these bricks up the out of the ravine, and I don't even think we. Uh, yeah, we're not even gonna we're not even gonna stumble on this thing. Oh, let's go ahead and drop them right about there. Okay, let's restore the crane, back to cargo, and we're off. This might be, without a doubt, the fastest task we have ever done. And Fallen Bricks is completed. Just like that. <laughs> so, uh, you know what? That just goes to show when you bring the right truck with you, everything just goes so much smoother. Uh, luckily, we, uh, yeah, I almost brought the the other ads off with me. So, really glad I am uh, driving around with this crane. <laughs> it's proven quite uh, useful. So, let's uh, let's keep going. We're gonna now. Try to figure out what the last task is, in fact. Uh, somehow, we lost our marker. Uh, so we gotta drive past the sawmill. Ooh, it's way... Ooh, you know what? I'm gonna take the scout. This looks like a scout path here. We're gonna try to take that and see what happens. Because you, uh, well, you may never know. We should be able to get through there. This this truck has done scout paths before. As long as they're not uh, too narrow with uh, large boulders that we can't get around or forests that we can't get around the boulders with, we should be okay. <laughs> Alright, so let's see here. Yeah. We gotta pass the, uh, I believe this is a lumber mill. And yes, I have seen, uh, I have seen, uh, a uh, log drop off some pickups, so we are gonna be doing some logging in Russia. Which honestly isn't too surprising, but. Luckily, now that we have some decent trucks, we can we can get the logging missions done pretty much without any issues. I think the biggest issues are the uh, the quantity or or having to do the the trek multiple times. Um, those are really the only hard part about doing the logging now. So yeah, I'm, I'm hoping this water area is probably the worst part of this trail. But you never know. The developers could have booby trapped this trail for us. Which is always pleasant, so. <laughs> oh man. Alright, come on, truck. Come on. Come on. Let's go, space trucking. Come on. 
Come on. I really starting to date myself now. Oh. Anyways. I wish I had uh I wish I had prizes to give out or something. I'm I'm trying to figure out ways that I can make it more not entertaining, but more uh, engaging for the community, for you guys to, while you're watching the videos. Uh, that's why I like to, to, you know, throw out there and, and say, you know, you know, what color would you guys like to see on this truck, or what truck would you like to see me drive? Uh, just so you guys feel like you you have some input. Um, every once in a while, I get the comments about how, oh, I should do what I want to do, and I'm like, I, I get that, and I, I, I am, that's why I'm asking you, because I, I want to ask you guys what color you want to see the truck, or what uh, paint scheme, or, you know, what truck, there's not really a whole lot <laughs> of uh, customization that I can do. I mean, besides, you know, saying, oh, what sticker do you guys want on there, you know, and then it's, yeah. Uh, this is looking a little sketchy through here. Let's go ahead and, and winch through this uh, little ravine. Am I... No, I'm still on the trail, so... I suppose... I suppose we are going the right direction. But yeah, it's, it's starting to get a little narrow. And this path has not been driven on in... Uh, a very long time. Okay, the worst thing that can happen right now is if we tip over. So I gotta be mindful of that. It's it's kind of hard to see right now with how dark it is. So we might be skipping ahead once we get to our uh, this location. It looks oh, there's a trailer here. Am I supposed to get this scout trailer somewhere or something? It did not pop up. How do I cope with all these lost vehicles, you ask? I don't. At my last checkup, I burst the blood pressure monitor. My only hope is for you to find the lost trailer and take it to the sawmill parking. Alright, well, let's start tracking. Hey, look, guys, I found it. It's right there. Uh, let's see, where do we need to go with this? Yeah, that's that's what I was afraid of. Okay. Um, I'm going to try to cut through the woods. It looks like it is completely possible. I'm not 100% sure. I may need a scout to actually finish this mission. Seeing on how this is a scout trailer. But we can at least use this truck to haul it out of here. Um, and there's a lot of points to go through. Uh, I really want the front of the trailer, but you know what? Good enough. Oh, why is my parking brake on? <laughs> I don't remember putting that on. Alright, there we go. Hopefully we can just yank this trailer through. Oh, that's what I was afraid of. The trailer doesn't really want to come through. Uh, let's skip to morning. There we go. Somehow I'm going to have to get this to rotate around. I wonder. Where? Oh my god, how did that happen? Okay, well. <laughs> I have no clue how this thing got stuck like that. Um. And I can't even see it. Nope, that's not going to help. Is that the front of the trailer that I can grab, right? Come on, pick. There it is.
Yes, it is. And somehow, oh, we have not. We are not out of the woods yet. I think. Do 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 do. Where do we go? It looks like it thins out way over here. So I kind of want to come this way towards that group of birch trees right there. Yeah, there we go. Now it's nice and thin. Come on, trailer. You can do it. Hey, it operated itself. That's a start. All right, and we're through. <laughs> All right, so we just got to uh, drag this. And hopefully, like I said, we won't need the uh, scouts to drop it off. I think we'll be OK. I don't think it has to be. I mean, it, normally, if it's if it's a cargo, it has to be packed. That's why I'm a little nervous that the trailer is going to have to be attached. Uh, maybe what we can do if it doesn't accept it is pick it up with the crane, pack it on the flatbed, and then deliver it. That might be a way around. Uh, but let's let's find out. I'm doing. It's funny. I'm 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 basically doing the same stuff that I was doing in Michigan and in Alaska, but I am finding new ways to do it. So. Uh, it's like the last episode where I actually picked up the scout vehicle, put it on the flatbed, packed it, and then went and got another one to haul back. And then it turned out that the one was just a repair, <laughs> so that, uh, yeah, it was, uh, it worked out in the end. It wasn't the smoothest, but it, it worked, and it, you know shows the the capability or the possibility of, of being able to do such a thing uh yep you go right here i wish i could read that i really wish they would incorporate the uh the text change like after after the russian text is on screen for about five to ten seconds that it magically morphs into english or whatever language you're playing the game in and that just uh that just kind of makes it easier to, to read everything, but I'm pretty sure that would it say lumber mill. But uh, yeah, let's see if this counts. Yes. Okay, cool. It does. All right, sweet. Uh, I believe. Yeah, we are done with the task. Now, we could do these type of things where I take this semi or this uh, fuel semi trailer and drive it over here. Or we can go to Tamar or uh, to uh, the, the quarry. And I unfortunately can't do a full vote on this because, well, frankly, I'm halfway through recording this, so it's it's not really going to work. Uh, so let's let's see here. Uh, most of these will either be in this map or it will be cross maps. You know what? I think I'm going to do it a little different this time because I believe in uh, Alaska. What I did is I, I did all the tasks for the map and then I went on to the next map, did all the watchtowers and then the task and went on to the next map. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to stay in this area a little bit longer and we are going to actually you know what? I don't need this truck anymore so let's go ahead and recover it let's uh, customize it but yeah so anyways I am going to stay and do as many if not all of the tasks that can be done, or not tasks, sorry, missions that can be done in uh, in the drowned lands. I have to start calling it that so I get used to it. But uh, <laughs> even though we're almost done with it, uh, so we need the low saddles. Let's slap that on. 
I'm gonna leave the crane. I think that's, um... Yeah, I think that's gonna come in useful. And, uh, yeah, let's slap on... No, what am I doing? I need to. This mission isn't moving cargo, it's moving a, uh, fuel trailer, so... Uh, I need to figure out where it is. I think it's way... Oh. Somehow. There we go. Um, so we need to go pick up this fuel tanker that's back here. <clears throat> all right, so yeah, that was that was pretty cool. I didn't I didn't really expect us to uh, finish all the tasks in this episode, and here we are. We did it, and not only did we do it, we have about another 25 minutes left of filming, so we possibly will be finishing this task as long as uh, nothing catastrophic happens. We should be okay. We should be able to get this done before the end of the one hour episode. And once again, I, I do remember I asked about uh, length of videos, nobody responded, so... I'm going to, in this case, do what I do, <laughs> and I'm going to keep it uh, around an hour, because I feel like, yeah, that's, that's pretty, pretty decent time length. Um, I always, I always kind of hate it when videos are short and I'm enjoying it. <gasps> no! What? That's not cool. All right, let's recover. We got to get rid of the crane, guys. Uh, customize frame. Where's the crane? All right, we got rid of the crane. But you know what? That's going to save us weight. We're going to have more power. We're going to have better fuel economy. And we're going to be lighter, so... But hopefully, <clears throat> we uh, won't have an issue. <laughs> we'll have to recover if we have a mission where we need to use the crane. Because I think this is a good crane truck. This is going to be... This is going to be my crane truck. The... The dairy is going to be kind of my heavy duty mover and then uh yeah we're gonna have to find i guess it, it i guess it's not it's the dairy's more of my oh man i don't even remember is the dairy longhorn considered i think it is considered heavy uh you have heavy duty and then you have heavy so i think the heavy which is going to be the high saddle uh we'll have to find something that would work Maybe a brand new truck, just to see what we got and see what uh, Russia has to offer. Um, yeah, I know, I accidentally just clipped the trailer. It's okay, it's just full of uh, vital gas that can explode when exposed to a spark. Alright, so let's get, uh, let's get on the road. Let's get this mission done before... Oh. What? Was it the... Oh yes, yeah. so we have another time trial. And yeah, nobody seems to be upset that I don't do the time trials. So, <laughs> I'm I'm okay with that. I don't have an issue at all with that, so... Maybe one day we'll do time trials. Possibly if we uh, run out of things to do. Which, I mean, this game is insane with the amount of content. Even though you have the haters that say, oh, well, it's not really new content because we've done the mission where we take the fuel tanker across the map. And while that's true, it, it's still different. So I can I consider it content, new content. All right, so let's see. We just got to go up the road and then take a left at the tanker. All right. 
We should be done in, I'm gonna guess, eight minutes. Yeah, so it's 39.50 right now, so we'll see. If we get to 48.50. Yeah, so we will just be under 50 minutes by the time this episode is done. If I'm correct. You know what, this truck doesn't look too bad being a fuel carrier. I wish it had just a little bit more speed. And I might be able to solve that issue if I switch uh, transmissions. Maybe the freeway will uh, speed this truck up a little bit. Because this thing is insane. I, I still don't understand how it gets such good fuel economy. It's got to be double, if not triple, if not quadruple, some of the, the other trucks out there. It's, uh, it's, it's pretty insane. It's a, it's a good truck. Definitely a good truck. If I, if I ever did a hard mission or a hard mode of this game, I probably would come to Russia, pick this truck up and bring it back to Michigan. <laughs> You'd probably be able to do every single mission without even, without even breaking a sweat. Although I, wa I wonder what that's about. It looks like there's some type of shield on top. As if there's a... Uh things that may fall on it. <laughs> There's an extra layer of protection. I didn't notice that in the Michigan trucks or tankers or the Alaskan. I wonder why Russia has those. I, I kind of assume that the tankers were all the same. <laughs> maybe maybe they did slightly change them for the uh, areas because I know the crane changed. Some things do change depending on what region you're in. But yeah, I mean... Yeah, I feel like they just took a little... They took a section of the thing, raised it up a little bit, and then sliced it. And called it a... Uh, slightly modded fuel tanker. It's okay. I'm not hating. I'm just pointing things out. Alright, so we are way above schedule right now. I think we might be a 45 minute. <laughs> it definitely did not take us 8 minutes to get here. Even though we're uh, still a couple minutes out. Come on, truck. Ooh. We're moving at a snail's pace, but the good news is we're moving. As long as we keep moving. As long as we keep moving. Come on, truck. We are moving still. We're moving ever so slowly. Ah, that's... Went on to something. Oh. I don't know what we're wenched on to. Ah, it's the little tiny bush behind us. Well, those are useless. Oh, that just got ripped out. You know what? Let's attach there. And there. There we go. And that's how you get through. 
maybe maybe I knew this was gonna be a hard uh, place to, to traverse. Needless to say, we still have three minutes to get there, so. Come on, we can do it. We're definitely going to get there before eight minutes, but that's that's fine. I'm happy with that. <clears throat> Surprisingly, the uh, the two tasks that we finished did not take very long. In fact, we we had the fastest task that we've ever completed. Um, so that was a pleasant surprise. But here we go, dropping off our tanker. Boom. 2700 bucks. We got some experience points, which I don't know if experience points mean anything anymore. Um, yeah, we have this. Ooh, we have this here, too. Is that fuel? Can I get fuel here? It's a fuel station. I never noticed that before. I feel so silly. Hopefully I didn't um, <laughs> accidentally drive past it and not be able to use it. That seems kind of silly. Alright, let's go ahead and oh, bash the trailer into uh, cubicles or something. We'll fill this up. We're going to cut the engine there. Let's take a look at our next task. Dirty Deeds. Let's activate that. Uh, so we've got to pick up four barrels of oil. Sweet. Uh, are we surprisingly next to... No. It would be way too easy if we were right where we needed to be. Uh, so we got to go all the way back home. You know what? Let's go ahead and do it. We're, we're still pretty early. Let's head back to pick up the... Uh, the barrels that we need and then we will uh yeah we'll call it an episode there because we still have 13 minutes before we hit one hour and i'm actually going to swing off this way and this is the actual path that you're supposed to take or at least this is the path that the road or the map says is a road um, so it is a little bit faster, uh, but we aren't weighed down like we were, so you gotta, you gotta take that with a grain of salt. Let's go ahead and throw that back in high. We should be speeding up. Uh, no, we didn't. All right, let's leave it in high until we get on the asphalt. And then we'll be back towards the garage in no time. There we go. So yeah, there's uh, there's really no point to have that fuel tanker there. <laughs> I mean, it does save us from having to go through that mud. So maybe I'll I'll leave it there for now. It's it's not hurting anything. No reason to uh, to worry about getting rid of it. And then maybe, if we need it somewhere else, I can just grab it and move it. Make it, uh, semi-portable. Man, I really forget how slow this truck is, though. <laughs> I think this is probably the speed of the high gear of the dairy. Oh well, you know what? Slow and steady, right? Alright. Man, I really wish I could read Russian. <laughs> like, I want to know what all these little signs say. I'm, I'm assuming that being a red sign says danger. I wouldn't know 
the first of, of trying to uh, translate it or pronounce it even. I mean, I can I can hardly pronounce most English words, let alone uh, Russian words. You know, I was thinking about it. I'm a little afraid of the map, the quarry. Uh, not because of the video game, the quarry, but because Michigan's quarry was a living nightmare to try to get in and out of. And I just have a feeling that the quarry map is going to have a quarry or two quarries or possibly even three quarries that we're going to have to constantly go in and out of, so um, hopefully they're not as difficult as they were in Michigan, but seeing on how this is a more advanced map, they're probably going to be more difficult, so yeah. We're just going to have to uh, wait and see, because we've got quite a bit of missions to do before we uh, move on to the quarry. Dirty Deeds is almost uh, started. <laughs> I haven't technically started it yet because we haven't picked anything up. But we'll be underway shortly. Like I said, we're going to pick up the oil. We're going to get everything squared away. And then we're going to call in an episode. And this is where we pick it up. Alright, perfect. Go ahead and load up barrels of oil. Gotta make sure they're the right thing. There's a lot of parts here. Because uh, fuel and oil can be sold at the same place and they look exactly the same except for basically the color of the barrels. Oil is white with the black dripping around it and fuel is blue. So uh, pay attention to that because I've screwed up once so um, it's not fun. But uh, let's go ahead and let's throw all four in. Make sure that we have four. Yep. Visual check. And uh, let's go ahead and stop the engine. And we're going to call it an episode there. So if you guys like the episode, please give me a thumbs up. I'm trying to trying to hopefully shoot for 30 thumbs up. You know what? No, let's say 20. Let's say 20 thumbs up uh, within a week. Hopefully we can keep that trend going and like I said I'm gonna try to rework the uh, the name of the map in fact let me uh, do this just so that I <laughs> can can steal the name uh, because unfortunately drowned lands Tymar Russia Federation is a lot to remember so uh, yeah that should give me uh, a little cheat sheet when I go to type create my title but uh, yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the episode and we will see you in the next one bye for now